Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Sunday, the 24th of March, 2024, also known as React Day, because today I split my efforts among all three of my YouTube channels. I start with a podcast on DSP Gaming. I switch over to DSP Reacts in the afternoon for my weekly clip show, DSP versus the Internet. And then at night, it is the awesome Retro React show where I watch one of my old playthroughs back and do live commentary on it over on DSP Throwback. So... Big variety of content today. Let's talk all about that. First of all, on DSP Gaming, on the Level 1 podcast earlier today, I recapped my big progress in both RPGs that I'm currently playing and pushing for completion. I also had a big segment of uh, Suggestion Box. And this time around, I tried to be way more positive and you know listen to the feedback, even though I, I couldn't exactly just adopt all of it right away. Uh, I did take some of it to heart, and some of it was some pretty good suggestions, so it was good stuff. Then, on DSP Reacts, it was DSP versus the Internet, episode 57. That's the show where members submit clips for me to watch, and it was a good variety. Again, every week now, we get tons of variety on that channel. We get music. We get gaming documentaries. We get comedy skits. We get stuff about food, stuff about travel, stuff about philosophy and life. Just a ton of variety of content. And I really, really enjoyed the show. Surprisingly enough, number one, we got a ton of support before we started the React show. And then someone gifted 50 legit memberships on the channel. So that's going to help a ton. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported my stuff today. But in particular, it was nice because usually when I do that React show, we don't get a lot of support. And it was good to have a stream where everything was like well supported on DSP Reacts. I was like, wow, that is awesome. So thank you very much for that. The late stream tonight was the conclusion of my Retro React series on Heavy Rain. Six straight weeks we have been streaming Heavy Rain on the channel, and DSP Throwback has actually gotten a lot of attention and views because of it. It's actually my most viewed series on the channel. Um, and it went really, really well. Basically, we had just enough time to finish the game and see my epilogue kind of final thoughts from 2010, and then I was able to give my final thoughts on both the game and the playthrough now in 2024. I even covered a huge plot hole that was left in the game that was later explained by the game devs as a deleted plot that wasn't in the game, but partially left in, which makes it kind of confusing. So I explained that, <clears throat> and a lot of people were blown away and didn't even know that that existed. Um, also, a well-supported, well-attended stream. So in reality today, being that I'm not doing gameplay content, my other stuff outside of gameplay is doing really well. I had a great time with it. I want to say thanks to anyone who attended or supported either stream. Now, very important. Heavy Rain's done. We need feedback on what to play next as a retro react series on DSP Throwback. So if you go to the DSP Throwback channel, it's youtube.com forward slash at DSP Throwback. Go to the community tab on the main channel page and there's a poll. Four games you can vote for right now. Number one, continuing on with my Dark Souls 1 original run from 2011. We did one stream of it a couple months ago, <clears throat> but we didn't go back to it because we were playing Heavy Rain possibility we can go back to it now number two my original run of bully from 2013 this was the first playthrough that was a hybrid i started filming with my camera and then halfway through i adopted direct capture that's a really interesting playthrough plus it's a rock star game it's got a lot of interesting fun stuff it should be a fun one okay number three my original run of bioshock one from 2009 that is one of my oldest long full-length playthroughs that i did on any channel and it sounds and looks a lot different. So that's a possibility. And then lastly, my original run of Mass Effect 1 from way back when, this run was a New Game Plus run because my original save files were used to basically play the game on the hardest level, which I think is called Insanity. This is where all the memorable memes like Thugs on the Floor came from. So please vote on the poll. That poll will be running as of now, all week long. And whatever wins the poll will be our next Retro React series. Now here's the thing. Originally, I wasn't planning on doing Retro React as a weekly thing. I was going to do it Sunday night, see how it went, give it a week or two, maybe do another one in two, three weeks, kind of feel it out. But what happened was when we started playing Heavy Rain, people liked it so much, they demanded that I bring it back right away. And I was like, all right, we'll do it two weeks in a row and see what happens. And then it did well again. And then it did well again. So we did it six straight weeks. If people still like Retro React that much and they show up and they engage and they support those streams... I'm willing to do them every Sunday night and make every Sunday a full React day. But if, let's say next week, we do this stream and attendance dwindles, support dwindles, people are getting bored of it, then we won't do it every week. We'll space it out to make it more special, all right? So let's see what happens. Please vote. 
and let's see next week, whatever wins, let's see how well it does and go from there, okay? In the meantime, thank you. A very fun React Day with all of you, okay? Tomorrow, we get back to gameplay. We get back to the RPG overload push to finish the games that I'm playing so we can move on to the new releases. I really am dying to play more Dragon's Dogma 2, to start Alone in the Dark, to do a co-op playthrough of Beyond Two Souls with my wife, to maybe get back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, to maybe try Battlefront another time because the Battlefront collection supposedly has been patched and improved, and I can't do any of that stuff until we finish Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon Infinite Well. So tomorrow, there will be a level one podcast here on DSP Gaming, and then we will go right back into Baldur's Gate 3. We've got to work at the Steelworks and try to take out the Steelworks robots. Then we're going right after, um, <clears throat> what's his name? It starts with a G. I keep having a brain fart about this guy's name. The guy who's currently ruling Baldur's Gate. So we're going to take him out. And then if we do it all in one stream, great. We're on pace to finish the game this week. Okay? Tomorrow night, we continue on with Chapter 13 in Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. We're currently in an optional grinding dungeon, but it's needed. I need to grind the levels of my characters to beat this game. So maybe tomorrow night, we just have a grind stream where all we do is we finish the second half of the second challenge dungeon. We do the entirety of the third challenge dungeon, as hard as it is, and we grind our levels up really high so now I can just cruise through the end of the game. It probably makes sense. So let's see what happens. Rather than me having difficulty with the end of the game and then being frustrated to do this one extra stream and basically level up and then be able to turbo through it, it's probably a good idea, all right? Anyway, so that's the plan for tomorrow. I know it may not be appealing to most of you. You're like, when the hell will these games end? That's what I'm working on. That's why we're focusing on these games so heavily. I hope to have these games done by the end of this week, possibly Friday, all right? Let's see what happens tomorrow, and we'll see what pacing we're moving at, and we'll go from there. But in the meantime, I wish you all a good night, a safe one. I hope to see you tomorrow for full gameplay day on DSP Gaming, and thanks for an awesome React day. Everyone, peace out. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.